Hey guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. Come on in. Hope you're enjoying your day. Happy Saturday to everybody. My name is Deb with Art and Grace. For anyone who does not know me, welcome in. I am part of the event tonight. I'm trying to get this pulled up. Bear with me one second. I want to be sure we're live on my page. I don't see anything. Oh, come on. I hope it works. There we go. Hello, guys. How is everybody tonight? <gasps> Hi, Andrea. Hi, Christy. I knew my Christy would be first one on. Hello. How are you? Hi, Deb. Deb, you're my newest member to the group. Welcome, welcome. Okay, guys, you're part of Are You Following Me? So whether you know it or not, you may just be watching me on my page. But up in the description of this video is a link over to the group, Are You Following Me? And it's been a fantastic day. Hello, Emma. How are you tonight? Hi, Leanne. Hi, Christy. I said Christy. Let's see. Anybody else? Yes. Okay. Hi, Gail from Louisiana. How are you tonight? Listen, guys, I, I don't know. Tell me if you've been watching all day. Hi, Tamara. Um, it has been so good. So many great ideas. Even if you have not crafted along or anything, you surely have got inspiration. And that is part of the fun. Hi, Justin. How are you? I loved seeing you with your mama. And then last week we got to see you with Miss Jim. So we've had a lot of fun watching you lately. Of course, it's always fun. So if you're not following Justin, the Crafty Brother, you need to be. Hi, Diana. Hi, Luana. Hello, Vicki Martin. Hi, Carol Lawson. Oh, Justin, thank you for the stars. I just realized you did that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Carrie, for sprinkling. Yes, that sure does help us. I appreciate you guys. Hello, Lou Ann, Julia. Who else? Did I miss anybody? Just come back through because, oh, good. Okay, guys, well, we're going to get right started. Um, this is something that's only in my head. I haven't done it yet, so I'm going to need your feedback as we go. You're going to probably, as you look at this, see things that I don't see. So... I love using these little char uh, charcuterie, I have a hard time saying that, charcuterie boards. So this would be like for cheese or just a small little two-person charcuterie board maybe. And you can pick these up at TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Ross. Um, I got this one, I believe, at Hobby Lobby. So they're everywhere. Hello, uh, Joey and Susan and Andrea. Shelly, Gretchen, I'm so glad y'all are here. Thank you for being here. Gretchen, you come on in as your business girl. If you see one of these creatives as a business, you might want to go check out their page, see what they're about. Hello, April. April is um, Art and Grace unpaid help as well as Christy. But one day we're going to pitch all on the payroll. Y'all are so helpful and good to me. Thank you for being here. Okay, guys, let's get started. So, when you see this, what do you see? I'm just curious if you see what I see. Because thinking of fall, and you look at the shape, and you probably saw me holding this stick, so it just seems like, thank you, Cheryl with MC, MNC Treasures, and she is the co-host of this event, as well as Sheila. Um, Sheila is Sweetie's, oh goodness, Creations, I believe. Tell me if I'm wrong. Um, I believe it's Sweetie's Creations. I have a hard time with that. I don't know why. I think I just go blank when I hit the live button. Anyway, yes, I'm going to make this little guy a scarecrow. So, here we go. I have all kind of embellishments around me. I think I have everything I need. We will see. So, guys, how's your day been? Come on in and tell me how you're doing. Hi, Rosie. Some of you, I feel like y'all were just with me. Was it yesterday we did the owl? And I'm so glad y'all are back because I don't... Oh, good. Somebody guessed it. Yeah, Debbie. She was on it. She could tell, I guess. I'm going to... I don't typically like to paint over wood a whole lot. Like, I like to see the natural wood. But um, this needs a scarecrow face on it. And so we're doing it. So you can paint on wood. I love to use a sealer on top of the wood before I paint. But I am not doing it tonight. We're just going to get in here and do it because... You know time's sake we're just gonna go fast so I'm gonna get my brush wet dry it off just a little mix up this color I just kind of want like a I don't know you know a scarecrow face color so I guess it's tan right kind of tan 
Hi, Lisa. Okay, girl. So I was a week early on you. I thought you had your your procedure Monday, but it's this coming Monday. So I'm ready for you, girl. You've been to church most of the day, Amber. Well, good. Were you helping or something today? Or is it a church day for you? Okay, I'm just going to come here with this paint and get it on. You might see just a little bit of chalkiness because I kind of sketched out a pumpkin or a scarecrow face earlier just to kind of get the placement of everything. This is deco art paint that I'm using. I love love crafts, but I almost always involve painting with my crafts. I rarely just, and, and sometimes I do, I guess, but it just seems like I always think of painting and I always look at something like this little wood thing and I was immediately be like, oh, that's a scarecrow. So anyway, if you don't want to paint it, um, you could use a material and or a napkin and, you know, kind of modge podge it down maybe. But this is so easy that there's nobody that can't do this little scarecrow face, you know. And you could even let your kids do one if you find these cheap enough, like maybe Walmart or something. Or if not, just um, use, a, let them have an Amazon box while you're doing your wood one. You know what I'm saying? Like if you don't want to waste a, another wood one, or not, it's not a waste, but you know what I mean. If you don't want to pay for another wood one, then you can just give them an Amazon box, cut it out in a circle, or maybe a plate from the Dollar Tree. I'm trying to think how high I want to go up because this would be, this would be representing the hat up here. I guess I can cut this off. I don't think I might need it later, so I'll cut it right here at the base. Oh, well, this is easy. You could do this one upside down. Y'all always say that, but I, I t purposely pick things that aren't too hard. And, um, you know, I, I can't do anything difficult upside down. Okay, I'm just kind of looking. I think I'll just leave this, the wood up here. I don't think I need paint up there. Hello, Kim with From My Corner. Uh, if you guys were one of the creators who went live today in the group, you might just put on there, I was live today or I went live at 4 o'clock or whatever to let people know because they might want to click on your name and go see your live if they missed it. But get into the group. Like I said, it's pinned at the top of this description and you can just see everybody back to back. And the ladies are super organized that have... Uh, put this on so everyone is pinned at the top you could literally just go down the row and watch everybody all day thank you so much heart's desire for sprinkling hi tamara hello sarah good awesome you were live at 2 30 that's right yes i caught some of yours it's been hard because it started early like was it eight um and so i haven't caught i've caught pretty much some of all but okay so I do see this rough place let me show y'all do y'all see that rough place I'm just gonna take a little sanding block you can take some sandpaper and just sand it lightly and then I'll put another coat on but sometimes your wood does that and of course this one does not have any kind of sealer down but like I was saying I like to use deco art multi-purpose sealer before I paint and that gives you a nice smooth surface. It seals the wood and um, really allows your paint to sit on top and not soak down into the wood. So for anyone who's painting on wood, you know, you, you'll get a much better, smoother result if you'll base coat it with that uh, sealer. And that just, like I said, keeps the paint from going down into the wood. But a lot of times for crafts, we don't really care. You know what I mean? We just kind of, not too, too important. But you'll just use a little more paint this way because it usually will take two coats. But DecoArt does have a really good, smooth coverage. And you really could get by with one coat if you weren't on wood, probably. So tell me, guys, how your day's been. Tell me... Tell me if you got inspiration today. So if you've been watching our event and you were inspired to maybe do something or, you know, create something for a Christmas gift or something, let me know. We always love to know if what we do makes a difference, you know, like 
hopefully somebody will want to make it when you do make it especially if it's something that I taught put it into my group I have the art and craft showcase and it's a place for us to showcase what we're doing um, it's not a place you can sell or anything like that but you can put your pictures in there of what you do and those pictures inspire other people and um, so I always pop things in there and friends of, of mine will pop things in there do you say what color you are using no I mix the brown and the white grab any brown and any white and just mix it till you get the color that you like for this these are chocolate brown no dark chocolate and snow white from deco art let's see not what oh good well I'm glad you're here Amber and you hi Sherry you can definitely go back and watch anybody you want to oh I need to paint the brim of the hat so what color is the little scarecrow hat brown seems like it's all brown and y'all let me know real quick no Amber there's a uh, Vicki Clark with vintage country charm I believe am I right y'all vintage country charm or vintage country crafting maybe I think it's vintage country crafting now that I think about it is after me so just click that link in the description above and you'll see her next yellow Mary says I don't know why I went blank on like I can't picture the little scarecrow hat I guess because I usually put on a straw hat or whatever burlap color yeah oh that's what I did I know I painted a scarecrow and I did put burlap so I'm gonna get out a little more of this brown oh they will don't worry I'm sure that they have a lot of people trying to get in so just um, bear with them you know it does take a while to get everybody added in there it is vintage country crafting so at least you know where to go next Amber and then she will tell you where to go after her so okay let's just go ahead and color I'm looking to see what straw color typically orange or brown okay I'm gonna go ahead and do brown I'm just gonna kind of do a thin coating can y'all see always forget to check that y'all can see my table well I don't know why so somebody usually will holler at me if I'm not watching hello Zena from PA how are you I'm all the way down in Texas glad you're here you guys let me know where you're watching from because I'm sure there are some of you that I haven't met before I'm glad you're here I always say thank you for putting up with this Texas accent of mine and I love um, I love really my love is to teach people teach women specifically how to take time out for themselves and do some art or easy crafts art journaling whatever it is that brings you a little peace because it sure does bring me peace and I typically don't even have music going I will just use that time to pray but you can have your music going if you want to and um, I'm telling you it is such a, such a stress reliever to spend a little creative time we need to kind of y'all I'm painting the wrong side it doesn't matter but you know this is one of those paint sticks so it has the little um, numbers on it but that's okay because what I think I want to do is cover it with some burlap just to just to bring in the texture so let's do that and I do actually have some that I'd rather use because this is a no it's about the same okay I'll use this is from Dollar Tree I believe I kind of have all my stuff handy here anything I might need I pulled right by me so I'm kind of I think I'll just use this I'll just use this and it'll let the wood show through from slippery rock PA how cute I like that name so I guess there's a lot of lakes or um, rivers like is that right hello from Canada awesome glad you're here I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue just enough to hold this down I'm going to put it on and then just cut it how I need it don't worry I'm not gonna touch that y'all I know I should use my finger protectors I think us crafters are like though we're so bad we have them we all have them but we forget or not I don't know it's just kind of a hassle to wear them. hi Cindy how are you 
Glad you're here tonight. Cindy, come in as your business. Everybody's going to want to check out. I know. Um, I do. Sometimes I'll just check out people that I see in comments if I haven't heard of them before. So it's always good to come in as your business and just never know who might, who might come follow you. And we appreciate it, you guys. We appreciate so much you, you guys hitting the follow button. And, um, you know, if you enjoy what we do, it really does help us. And it's pretty easy to do. So thank you guys that are doing that for us. Some of you guys are just so easy going, like, sure, I'll follow. And I, we appreciate it so much. We really do. Okay. So just getting that little trim of the hat. And with texture, that will be cute. Okay. I think I'm not going to glue it down yet, but I am going to kind of leave it here while I do this face. There's a university there. Okay, cool. I am... Um, South Fort Worth, so right on the line of South Fort Worth and North Burleson. That is where I am. Okay, so let's do, I think I'm going to start with my mouth and just do a kind of fun, cute little mouth down here. And then, oh, I asked this last time. Let me look. So last time I had the point up on my, can y'all see what I'm looking at? See that little scarecrow right there? Or it's a pumpkin scarecrow is what it is. But I did that one with the point up. What do y'all think? Is that okay? Oh, and there's my other little scarecrow right there. Point up. Okay, so that must be right. Y'all tell me quick if not, but I think that's right. And then, oh wait, eyes. Ha! Ah, y'all, I really do know what a... I get nervous on these events. I'll just be honest. So thank y'all for being patient with me. I really want to do Cheryl and um, Sheila proud and I just get nervous when I'm doing an event but when I look out here and I see some of my there's Cynthia first one hi Cynthia when I see all my friends then I feel so much better um, okay so I think that means eyes would go down point up I bet the eyes are down what is wrong with me <laughs> Those I did round, but I think I want these to be different. So I will do, let's just try what we, what we think about having the eyes going down. And I don't like placement. Y'all are probably laughing at me. It's okay. You can laugh. I probably would laugh inside. No, I'd be like, don't be nervous. It's just us. So maybe something like that, but I don't want to cover them. Okay, y'all are going to hit the unfollow. Please don't unfollow me. Please, please give me a chance. Maybe I just need to bring them down more by the nose. Maybe that's the issue. Yeah, let's bring them down further. Hold on. Hold on. I'm starting to panic. Like, is this... Is this really, am I this bad? I'm not this bad. <laughs> I know, Nancy. I really, I'm just kind of being silly and goofy. I am nervous, but I don't know why, because we're all friends, and it's all going to be okay. It's just a playful scarecrow, and I think it was that it was upside down, and I just didn't have my bearings on it. So now it looks fine. That's pretty decent placement. I think I want it tilted this way. What do y'all think? How is it? It'll be cute. You guys trust me. Trust the process. It always turns out. Thank you, Amber. You're sweet. <laughs> oh, I seriously, I like to do this because we're real people. We, we're not perfect. And there are things that I can do with my eyes shut. I mean, I don't even have to think about it. But then there's things that if you don't do it very often, you're like, wait a second, what does that look like? And so, yeah. Well, thanks, Sheila. Okay, so here we go. I've got a detail brush. We're just going to come in and paint this cute little mouth with the black. I'm just loading it up. And we're going to do it quick. I don't even have to really follow my lines because we're just going to erase that chalk. It just was for where to put the mouth, really. 
So just get that on there. And I think we'll do Traditions by Granny Rosie. Is this Rosie? <laughs> oh, Blakely, thank you. I'm glad that some of you guys have some confidence in me when I'm acting crazy. Oh, thank you, Claudia. So Claudia can vouch for me. I really do know what I'm doing. I think I'm just maybe, I don't know. I don't, I don't really have a reason. I don't know why I'm flustered tonight. I'm glad to be here. I was very honored that they asked me and um, I'm mixing a little bit of red and orange. I kind of want a red, but pretty orange red for this nose. Y'all go ahead and tell me what color eyes should they be? See what I mean? Like any child can do this scarecrow. So don't be, this is just a super simple design. I know, I know, Denise. <laughs> yes, I don't know what's up. I don't know. I have not had, okay, this is, oh, I know what it is. I have not had a sip of water today, but my husband brought me a big old Starbucks. So it's got caffeine in it. It's gotta be, that's gotta be what's wrong. Thank you, Becca. Yes, it's all in fun. Who said that? Thank you, Sheila, you're right. Yes, okay, eyes, what did we decide? Maybe I've never done the triangle eyes and so it's just throwing me off because I do usually do the round ones. So y'all tell me quickly what these eyes need to look like. Oh, the mouth was easy. I'm just gonna line these until I see what y'all tell me for colors on the eyes so we're doing this a little backwards I usually line last but we can do it however we choose fun art is just that it's for fun it's not serious this is not serious if anybody's like oh I'm never following her she's a mess that's okay because you know I am a mess <laughs> Yellow? Yellow eyes? What? Green or blue? Green eyes. Brown, blue, doesn't matter. Dark eyes with a flicker of light in them. So I think my problem is I'm doing these triangles. And I'm like, well, should they be round in there? Should they? Ooh, blue would be pretty. Let's do blue. Maybe I should have looked up a scarecrow before I started. Yeah, it's got to be. You're right. Blue or green. Okay, guys. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong here. Um, I don't know if we're supposed to be filling them all in. I really, truly feel like something's off. As long as I don't start slurring my speech or something. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> Thank you, Amber. <laughs> yes, Nancy. I say that all the time. Do I not? If you guys follow me, you know that I say that. That, um, you know, having imperfect, whether it's art or crafts, just reminds us to not take ourselves too seriously. That life is really heavy and there's a lot of stuff going on. And so if we can just have fun with art, I mean, that's what it's about, you know, is kind of getting a, re a relief from all of what's going on in the world and stuff. I'm going to come back with this red and kind of shade one side of the nose with it and here down at the bottom. Just fix that. Yes, that's right, Christy. Justin, are you worried about me, friend? Are you like, what in the world? What in the world? We're okay. Gonna put a little bit of this tan on the other side. It's just, I'm just mixing my colors, just some tan with that orange and kind of giving this side of the nose a highlight just for fun. Looks like Auburn colors. <laughs> oh, my husband will like that. His dad uh, graduated from Auburn. And then let's get some white out for the eyes. 
I'm taking way too long on this face. We need to get moving and do some other fun things. I like to put a couple of little whites in the eye. And let me dry this so that we can move on and do other things without messing it up. Oh, y'all. I know what that was on there that I just... I told y'all I was nervous tonight. I don't know. This will be a blooper real one for sure. I probably should start a, a little blooper reel and have these weird moments. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. I really can paint, guys. If you if you want to give me another chance, you should go look at a few videos, <laughs> either on Facebook or YouTube, because I really, truly can. And sometimes I'll just kind of use my paintbrush and kind of... But. Oh, Andrea, y'all are sweet. <laughs> Thank you. It's just paint. That's right, Gretchen. It is just paint. Okay. Once it's totally dry, you can either take a, a little bit of wet brush, a clean, very clean wet brush, and, you know, get rid of that chalk. Um, this one's just dry, but it'll do the trick. Okay. So, for the hair, um, I got out, you know, I've got burlap. I've got all kind of stuff. I don't like raffia, raffia a lot, so I got out my um where is it here it is the jute and was trying to you know use this for the hair and it's also kind of different than what other people do so here's what i did to save time i put it on a piece of tape so all i did was tape a piece of tape down so with it, the sticky side up you know you've got to tape it down so it doesn't move and then just laid out my jute so that is what i'm going to use for the hair Oh, thanks, Tony. How are you tonight? So I just took my jute. This is from Dollar Tree, and it was only two, you know, strands instead of the three, and just separated it and pressed it down. Separated, pressed it down. And you'll, you might think it takes a long time. It really didn't. I was watching one of the tutorials today for somebody else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this to the little stick for the brim of the hat, and this will stick out. And if I have enough, I might have some coming up. I don't know. We'll see. Let's just see what we think. Now, obviously, he's going to need a haircut. He's obviously going to need a haircut, so nobody freak out yet. But I just want to see how, I guess it needs to come all the way to the ends. And so that part here can be cut off. How's that look? If Can you blur your eyes and see what it will look like? So we'll cut this portion off. We don't need that. And let's hot glue this to the stick. So I'm just going to fold over my tape. But you could do that while you watch TV and then you've got it, you know, if you choose to do that raffia method or the jute method. I just sometimes, I don't know, I, I use raffia sometimes, but kind of want it a little bit high so that I can have some bangs. Let me pick let me picture it. Hold on. Let me picture it cut off. We'll try it. We'll try it. We'll see if we like it. We'll see, guys. This is an experiment. I guess I should have tested it before today, but I thought, well, this will be cute. But it may not. We're going to see. Talk it together. He has major bangs. We're going to cut them off. Yeah, bangs used to be really cool. Eva Grossman wants to join me on video. I bet that was a mistake. Hello, Eva. I'm thinking how high do I want this? Because I would like to. But I'm probably going to do something here. Y'all, I'm just thinking as I look at it. I mean, obviously, I'm going to cut them off. Do we like bangs? I mean, I could make her a girl and give her the 
the little, um, hi Eva, we could make the little, um, you know, hair ponytails. Hey from Wisconsin, Sue. Hola Manny, how are you? You did with your stick scarecrow? scarecrow? Okay guys, y'all help here. I can't decide if I like the bangs. I know, right, Diana? This is like, a, let's see where we go. Let's see. Hi, June. How are you tonight? So, do y'all like the bangs? They're kind of weird. Not sure if I like them. Um, I'm looking over here at my iPad if you're wondering what am I looking at. Blakely says, yes. If we do that, should, it'll be cute with bangs. Okay, so then we could have some hair kind of coming out of the top. You know, just kind of being crazy. Oh, I got paint on me. Where did that come from? Let me wipe it before I get it all over me. Diana says, yes. Oh, Lori, you've just missed my catastrophe. No big deal, girl. This was a good one to miss. I'm kind of off my game tonight for some reason. Let's see. You like the bangs. Yes, the bangs. Okay. Okay, guys, we're going to do the bangs. I'm going to cut them. I kind of like this up here just like for a funky hairdo. What do y'all think? Yes, needs bangs. Okay. Oh, I feel better. See, I need y'all here to help me. It's so much more fun crafting live with people here. So much more fun. And I know lots of times we have to do replays, but... It's so fun to have people's opinions coming in and all of that. I'm going to go ahead and hot glue this down a little better here for the top of his hair. Go ahead and put it down and go for it. Needs bangs. Yes, cute. Y'all are awesome. You may just be like, we need to get this girl through this. I don't know what's going on, but... Need to help her out. Okay. Oh, got got brown paint on the hair too. Good job tonight. One at Caddy Corner. <laughs> I'm just looking into the little camera here. You like the funky hair, do you? Hi, Annabelle. Was that you? Yes. How are you tonight? Yeah, this way. Needs to be that way. Okay, guys, I'm fixing to glue it down and then we'll give it a haircut. Oh, see what we think. I'm just using the uh, hot glue. You can use wood glue if you want to. Kind of making sure it's about the same. I mean, you know, the brim of the hat. Let's see. Yeah, that's okay. It's okay, friend. <laughs> you like the blue eyes? First time. Liz, you've been here before. Do you mean that I'm not freezing? It's the first time I'm not freezing. I, I'm sorry, guys. If it's your first time to watch, bless you. Um, you're so kind to stay. Okay, guys. I kind of think it should be kind of not even. So, like, I'm just going to go for it. And, like not do it even you know kind of like he got a bad haircut i mean it's a scarecrow let's see let's see it kind of looks like my third grade haircut right there you know back in our day didn't our moms dress us terrible and like our hair was terrible and then today every kid that i see is like they look like they're 13 and they're five. <sighs> Y'all get it. I see the, the hearts and the thumbs up. You get it. Yes. It's crazy, isn't it? Okay. So we could, you know, I might go back and put more hair up here because this is probably not enough or we could kind of give him a little, I don't know, y'all. We're going to leave it like that for now, but I will, I'll have to either, um, do y'all have an idea? You pixie cut, you did yourself. Yes, we've all done it or done it to a sibling. 
for sure. <laughs> I think that resonated when I said how these kids look because it's hilarious. The bowl cut, yeah. What was y'all's best year? You know, like, was it 1986? Was it 1970, 1940? What, you know, what year was like the time of your life? I loved the 80s. Graduated in the 80s and um, got married in the 80s and a big bow on top. Well, that's probably what I'll do but I was gonna give him a bow tie and I thought that would be so cute but I'm not sure 1982 and 83 Blakely I loved you know the 80s music oh my gosh I love the 80s music anybody relate so I'm thinking you know he'll have some more hair just trying to picture it kind of covering that 1988 1978 Kimberly was in high school I'm just gonna go ahead and add this because I kind of need to see it and I'm gonna kind of shove it down here now I did make a little bow I was thinking it would be a bow tie um, wouldn't that be a cute little bow tie but maybe it needs to go up here and it's kind of a little girl what do y'all think and if we want to do that do we want a different color like y'all let me think we could do like you know fun stuff if we're gonna make her a girl let's do it what do y'all think we could even do all of it. Okay, I'm going to set that aside one second. Are we okay on time? Because I am certainly not on schedule. She has hair extensions. <laughs> okay, let's do, let's add to that bow at least. So I'm going to show you, you know, I really prefer the messy bow that we learned from um, Refabbed. Can't think of her name. And I love her. I can't think of her name. Y'all help me. What's her name? Blonde, cute, little. I think she's in Kentucky. Brooke. Oh, Brooke Riley. Um, but anyway, if I'm not going to do the messy bow for time, I'll just do something like this. And it just, you just cinch it and it's like a bow tie. 70s were great. You're only 10. Oh, wow, Maria, really? Oh, that would have been terrible, but funny. Kind of hilarious. Okay, so I'm just going to pull these together, kind of cinch them in the middle. This is just a little haphazard kind of a bow tie look. And then... We will add this to the other that I already have. Can y'all see? 37 minutes, okay. I need to be done at 7.45. Brooke, thank you, Becca. Yeah, I finally got it. I just could not pull that out. She's adorable. And quite the business woman. So when I say adorable, I don't mean like, you know, silly. I mean like she's beautiful, she's smart, all of it. Thank you, Joy. I'm glad some of y'all have been following me and know that I can actually do things well and not crazy like this. Okay, so if we add it all together, it will be cuter. And where'd my hot, oh, you know what? This is not gonna be hot, is it? Let's see if we can get some out. And we can't so we'll put it back on the base that's the only thing I don't like about these guns is it's you know really doesn't stay hot off the base very long how are you guys doing you're still with me thank you so much <laughs> yes that's what I'm gonna do Kim uh, layer 
Oh, how funny. I do the same thing, Becca. Christy, thank you. No, there's nothing to stress over. That's the funny thing is there's no emergencies in crafting. It's all for fun. This is for fun. So hopefully I've been entertaining if nothing else, but maybe somebody got an idea and was like, oh, I have a charcuterie board I could use or, you know, you never know. Thank you, Terry. I have the sweetest followers. I know everybody says that, but for real, I truly do. Oh Lord, I cannot believe I just pulled that right out, y'all. This is really hilarious. Hilarious. It's really, see, it's just no big deal. You just pop it back in there. I just kind of loosely tied it. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank goodness, you know, some of y'all do know me. I actually probably just should have done what I originally intended, but I would have been the only one to do like art painting. And I was like, oh no, I don't think they're gonna like it. So I changed at the last minute. So that's probably why it's not going well. But it's still cute, it'll still be cute. Where Aldi, ooh, I forget to go there. That's cool, because our last time last time I went there, they did not have anything like that. I need to go. You know, H-E-B here, we have H-E-B, and they have a lot of stuff like that. Oh, Cheryl, thank you. Okay, so now we can get our bow on there. I mean, we could bling her up, y'all. If you like bling, we could definitely add more bling to her. But we're going to be about out of time by the time I... Oh, she's cute. I like this bow for that. It turned out okay. Might add her some little um, pink cheeks. I like that the bangs are kind of crazy, you know, and not perfect. Does her eyes need to be softened? I don't know. I'm going to put just a little thin, thin, thin line. Terry, you're so sweet. It's not life exactly. It's it's not it's so it's just for fun. Like kind of put a line down that I think I'm gonna line the eyes. I feel like it needs to be lighter. If we don't like it, I can go back and change it and then take pictures of it. That's what I always do is I'll kind of add any other details and take some pictures. <laughs> super super simple I don't know she might need a little more work when I'm done but I think it's cute I mean it, it can be cute hang it up I'll put that thing back on the little jute and hang it in my kitchen to remind me that we're not perfect our crafts aren't perfect but they can still be fun we I still had fun I hope that some of you had fun and that's the main thing is that we can kind of come together, hang out. Some of us have hung out all day and that's a great day. That's a good thing. So thank you guys for being here. Diane, thank you. Y'all are so sweet. Oh, eyelashes would be cute. In fact, false eyelashes would be a hilarious to glue on there. I don't have any, but I could go get some. That would be cute. Um, thank you guys. Listen, Thank you to Cheryl and Sheila for this event and for inviting me. Guys, this will be the last time you see me because they won't invite me back. But <laughs> thank you for being here. Thank you to everybody who was so kind in the comments. I appreciate you. Um, if you're brave, come check me out another time. I'm on all the time and you can see some other things that I actually can do well. So come back. Thank you guys. I love y'all. Have a great night and I will see you in the comments next. Oh, um, hold on. Vicki Clark, Vintage Country Crafting is next. Okay. Bye guys. Thank you.